karibu yes we do produce uh, clean water for people for home for home homesteads where people use it every day yeah basically jibu is all about linking the families with uh, clean water accessible at uh, uh, cheap price okay basically when you come we will have to we have uh, we, we sell water and we also refill water when you come to refill water we do clean the bottles first of all on the outside then we use the machine to clean the inside we use chlorine and ammonia which is mixed with water at, a, at an average rate then uh, water will be ready for you to drink yes. ok here at Jibu we do also have uh, challenges and uh, the first challenges that we uh, first challenge that we encounter is uh, water shortage because we are located in Siokimau and in this area uh, the type of water that we get is uh, salty water basically we do try to get clean water that we purify first then uh, then supply it to our customer but uh, you find out that uh, most of the time we don't get uh, we don't get it easily we have to go to, Na to Nairobi water or Mavoko whereby it takes some time and process to, 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 do, that, to do that then the second challenge that we face is uh, about uh, delivery because here at Jibu we do we is still growing the company is still growing and uh, we have not yet come to a place where we can acquire our own means of uh, delivery so we find that when a customer calls in or comes here to take water he or she will want the water to be delivered to his place or her place it will be difficult we try to link up with the guys like boda boda people to transfer that it may incur some uh, uh, extra charges but we are really trying to get our own means of transport to do that so basically those are the few challenges that we get but uh, hopefully things will be well soon and uh, jibu will be available to everyone like any other commodity in the market so basically the most difficult thing for me as a kenyan as a as a youth is uh, employment guys small uh, actually the the, the teenage people people who have finished high school most of them are idle they don't have something to do and uh, the biggest challenge like for me is uh, was uh, getting a job and uh, settling for the best thing that uh, someone may like basic things uh, incorporated in together so you may find that many youths around and uh, out there don't have jobs why there are things that uh, link people not getting jobs or not doing things that they like uh, you may find that uh, someone has gone to school has schooled well but doesn't have a job it's not that he likes it that way it's only you may find it that uh, he never went uh, he never he never had the chance like uh, like uh, going to the to the to the campus or uh, doing uh, uh, ma manual jobs uh, okay well, how, how can you say this uh, jobs uh, self employment they don't they, they, they don't uh, really concentrate in self employment they really concentrate in uh, white collar jobs and uh, in white collar jobs you, uh, for real you need paper and uh, many youth are home uh, are, are jobless because uh, they think uh, easy to get it or maybe you may you may think that uh, uh, it's, it's, it's a uh, how do you say this it's normal for you to get a job it's not, it's not that way at all actually you need to go out there you need to talk to people you need to face uh, challenges like like just lacking everything 
and you'll have to go out for you to get something so uh, like uh, how can I say this you when you are a kid when you are growing when you are growing up you were guaranteed school you were told you will have to go to school your parents will pay for you school but once you finish you are not guaranteed to get a job so for me as a youth I'll say it out to guys out there go out look for something that uh, you think this will put you to a right position just do anything don't just sit down there and say I don't have a job I don't have anything talk to people do anything that comes your way there's, there's a saying that says that once you are offered something to do take it don't hesitate you will when you are growing with it you will you will get to know it better and you'll have to you and you will grow getting more like the like those so basically as a kenyan as a as a youth what i can tell is that uh, don't just sit down my fellow guys go out there uh, uh, interact with people people who have experience talk to them and uh, and 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 you and you have to go we will go far we will go far uh, yeah so that's only i think that's what i can say as, as for me and uh, what i can tell what, what i can say is that don't be don't let yourself to be idle just look for something anything that you think anything that clicks in your mind and you know this will go my way try it out it will come past don't worry.